Electric vehicle startup Fisker is warning that it may go bankrupt, and a slew of new lawsuits are adding to that pressure. Fisker went public in 2020 and raised a billion dollars. Fast forward nearly four years, though, and the company has had all sorts of problems with its debut electric SUV. It's had quality problems, and the company has struggled to meet its own sales goals for it. Now, one crucial supplier has filed a federal lawsuit against Fisker. Engineering firm Bertrand says it started working with Fisker in 2022 to develop a low-cost EV for the startup, think under $30,000. Bertrand also agreed to help develop Fisker's electric pickup truck, and now the firm says Fisker stopped paying late last year. It claims Fisker owes more than $7 million and that it wants nearly $13 million in damages. Fisker says the lawsuit is without merit. Now, this isn't Fisker's only source of legal trouble. Another supplier, which appears to have made floor mats for Fisker's car, says it's owed more than a million dollars, according to a lawsuit in California. Meanwhile, a former employee has filed a proposed class action claiming Fisker owes him and other hourly workers unpaid wages and promised commission. And about those cars, more than 30 owners have sued the startup in California claiming Fisker violated the state's lemon law by not fixing all of the issues with them. There could be even more of these legal cases around the country, but it's hard to say for sure because states tend to force these kinds of cases into arbitration. Now, Fisker wouldn't be the first EV startup to fail, but it's one of the few to have gotten a car on the road. If it does go under, it'll be a stark reminder that the hard problems don't just stop because you have a few customers.